Hello everyone, welcome back to our top 10 series where we give you super cool, awesome top 10 lists. I'm Court McGinley. Today I have a pretty freaky list for you guys. We're gonna be talking about the top 10 worst ways to die. Ah! But before I tell you about all the horrible things that can happen to you in this lifetime, I wanna know, what do you think is the worst way to die? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. All right, I guess we should, uh. Maybe get this list started? In our number 10 spot we have Death by Beard. This list is going to be pretty dark so I figured I'd throw on this ridiculous yet true worst way to die. So in 1567 Hans Steininger had the world's longest beard. It was 4 feet 7 inches long. One day there was a fire and Hans forgot to roll up his beard. He accidentally stepped on it, lost his balance and stumbled which resulted in him breaking his neck and dying. Currently the world's longest beard belongs to Sarwin Singh and it's 8 feet 2.5 inches long. That's almost twice as long as Han's beard. He better be careful. In at number 9, smallpox. Once you have smallpox, there is no treatment or cure. This is a slow and painful death. It's pretty difficult to catch unless you come in incredibly close contact with an infected person. It can be transmitted through contaminated bedding or clothing. If you do have this, for the first 12 days you feel fine, then you start to experience flu-like symptoms. A few days later, lesions will appear on your face, hands, forearms, and then spread all over your body. The lesions turn into pus-filled blisters that scab and then scar. The virus in the blood results in clothing and capillaries and blood vessels which result in the person's death. Lucky for us, smallpox was eradicated in 1979, and only two labs retained samples, one in the US and one in Russia. In at number 8, human sacrifice. This isn't really a thing anymore, but it would definitely be a scary way to go. Not only do you know you're gonna die, but you also have to somewhat wrap your head around the fact that the reason is happening because you are a beautiful and physical, unblemished specimen. Back in the day, human sacrifice usually happened within tribes and involved a pure and beautiful child or teen. Usually a virgin will be the one to be sacrificed. Throughout history, there have been many different forms in which human sacrifices were offered, so the levels of pain would vary. In at number 7, breast smothering. Yes, this is an actual thing. Now I'm assuming most guys wouldn't mind going this way. And heck, some girls might not mind it either. I'm not here to judge. But for me, you know, it's just not the way I'd want to go. In January 2013, a man actually died due to his very intoxicated busty lover Donna Lang. They were getting, you know, down and busy when she smothered him with her breast and then he stopped breathing. A witness told police that they had heard a man begging Donna to get off him, but she refused. He was later pronounced dead at the Swedish Medical Center. In at number 6, starving to death. What a way to go. Food is awesome so dying due to starvation would not be the best way to go. However, usually people who die from starvation are stuck in rough times and usually live in third world countries. Other people who die from starvation are people suffering from anorexia. Around 21,000 people die every day due to hunger or hunger related causes. Sadly, children are the ones who often die. Did you guys know that your body can live for around 60 days without food, but your body does need water? If you're not eating after about a week or so, your body will begin to develop dangerous symptoms. Due to the the fact that it's required to feed off stored fat for energy. At this point, the liver begins to freak out and produces toxins that can be dangerous in large quantities. Then after time, your body starts to consume its own muscle and organs. This does not sound like a good way to go. And at number 5, we have torture. This is definitely a way I do not want to go. I've seen so many torture scenes from Criminal Minds and Prison Break, I don't even know how people can inflict that kind of pain on another person, even if you hate somebody. There are many forms of torture. There's cutting off fingers, shocking someone, holding their head under water, just a whole lot of gruesome. I remember I was watching this one horror movie, I can't recall the name, but someone actually got pliers and removed a person's fingernails one by one. Oh, it still makes me cringe to this day. So yeah, torture, not a good way to go. And at number 4, hypothermia, aka freezing to death. This combines a slow struggle with a painful death. When hypothermia kicks in, your body freezes in gradual stages. As we all know, once we get cold, we begin to shiver. This is a sign that your muscles are beginning to realize that the body needs to generate heat. When our bodies aren't getting enough heat, our muscles become stiff. During this process, our brain is also suffering because you are unable to think clearly or hold a thought. Eventually, during the stages of hypothermia, you'll get to a point where your body will stop shivering altogether, which is a very bad sign. At this point, your overall temperature plunges. Your body's organ and responses are so slow that you might even appear to be dead before you even are. Then right before you die, your breathing becomes very sparse and you lose consciousness. In at number 3, plane crash. This is actually a fear that so many people have. A lot of people have trouble with flying or they refuse to get on a plane altogether. I could just imagine the sheer terror that you would feel knowing your plane is going down and there's nothing you could do about it. I think the fact of having no way to escape is horrifying. Knowing there is nothing you could do. This whole crash 
manufacturing process would also take three or so minutes, and during that time, you would just know that you're plummeting to your death. Terrifying. All right, so I've listed some pretty scary ways that you can die, but out of the top two reasons, I can't decide which is worse. So, tied for our number one spot, we have drowning and burning alive. So, let's talk about drowning. This is an extremely painful way to die. Drowning is a form of asphyxia due to aspiration of fluid into air passages caused by submersion of water or other fluid. So basically you inhale water into the lungs resulting in extreme chest pains. There are five stages of drowning. One, your body is surprised and it recognizes it's in danger and becomes afraid. Two, involuntary breath holding. Water has entered the mouth and causes the esophagus to close over the airway. Three, unconsciousness. Because you've been without oxygen, your body shuts itself down as an unconsciousness result. Four, hypoxic convulsions. Due to the lack of oxygen, your skin turns blue and your body starts having convulsions. Finally, clinical death. At this point, both breathing and circulation has stopped and you go into cardiac arrest and the heart stops pumping blood. And now burning alive. Again, not a very good way to go. But there are a lot of accidents around the world where a house or building catches on fire and not everyone makes it out. Usually if you're trapped in a building or a house fire, then you'll usually become unconscious due to the smoke and oxygen deprivation before the flames get to you. Also, death by burning has a long history as a form of capital punishment. In the past, many societies have used this as an execution method for criminal activities such as witchcraft. Well, there you guys have it, our top 10 list of worst ways to die. Let me know down in the comments what do you think is worse, drowning or being burned alive? Personally, I would have to say being burned alive sounds worse to me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and also let me know what other top 10 lists you'd like to see me do next and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment for more awesome top 10 videos. We have more videos over here on the side for you guys. As always, you guys can follow me on my Instagram page, Courtney McGinley, or my own vlogging channel, Courtney McGinley Vlogs. Please subscribe and like, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.